Let's talk about pop-up modals in Webflow. Now I just grabbed this one from the Reloom library, which I think is one of the greatest resources for Webflow. Link is in the description if you haven't already checked it out. And if I was to go to my modal and set it to display flex, you can see that this is great as is. We have the close icon in the top right. that has a class of contact modal underscore close button, as well as a background overlay with the class of contact modal underscore background overlay that both close the modal on click. So I can close the modal with the click of the X icon, as well as clicking on the background overlay. So if I was to go to my published site and check it out, we'll open the modal. I can click the X icon, or I can click the background overlay. Now, this is great as is, but we can take this one step further. Now, unfortunately in Webflow, we can't set up interactions to close with the press of a key. So if I was to open up this modal and close the escape key, nothing happens, but we can use JavaScript to solve that for us. So I'm gonna go back into designer and in my page settings, I've already linked up a code sandbox file. So I'm gonna go into code sandbox and I'm gonna use this JavaScript snippet to solve the issue for me. So if I was to break this down for you is what this code is doing is first we need to set up an event listener that will detect when a key is pressed on the keyboard. We'll specifically listen for the key down event on the entire document. Now inside the event listener function, we'll check if the pressed key is the escape key. We'll do this by using the event key property which gives us a string representing the press key. Now, we want to make sure that the modal is visible before we proceed to close it, because remember, it starts off as hidden or display none. So we're going to use the query selector method to find the modal element with the class of contact dash modal underscore component, and then we'll check if its display property is not set to none indicating that it's currently visible on the page. Finally, if the modal is visible, we'll find the close button with the class contact dash modal underscore close button using the query selector method. If that close button exists, which it does, we'll simulate a click on it to close the modal. And that's it. By adding this piece of code to your project, you can now provide users with the convenience of closing the modal by simply pressing the escape key. So I'll save this, refresh my publish, publish page, open the modal, and I'll hit the escape key, and it closes the modal. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.